This Russian smirch rocket landed at dawn in central Mykolaiv. It's carrying a cluster of bombs designed to explode on impact and spray in all directions. It didn't explode, but it still could. An hour after impact, Mykolaiv's sapper team moves in to defuse the rocket and clear its remnants. In Russian targeted Mykolaiv, sapper units defuse and clear unexploded mines and munitions from the city center, battle sites, and open fields a dozen or more times a day. Sappers say because Russia is launching munitions the Kremlin didn't deploy in Syria or Iraq, defusing teams sometimes have to conduct on-site phone consultations with international colleagues to get directives on neutralizing ordnance. According to the HALO Group, the world's biggest demining organization, a new landmine being used in this conflict is the Palm 3. It's launched by rockets, and after it lands, sensors detect human motion. It goes off and spreads fragments over a 45-meter radius. Ukraine civilians are warned to stay away from munition remnants, but curiosity, especially among children, sometimes overpowers rationale. Чаще всего ми столкнулись в связи с боевыми действиями с минозрывными травмами. Это повреждение костей, повреждение нижних конечностей, также осколочные ранения грудной и брюшной полости. OCHA, the UN's Humanitarian Affairs Coordination Office, predicts it could take years to clear tens of thousands of sea and land mines and munitions planted in and launched on Ukraine since February. The frontline teams say that's an underestimation. Они появляются на поверхности земли, поэтому лет 10 будет занимать это только то, что на поверхности земли было обнаружено людьми или другими способами. Способами. These sappers say they're still finding unexploded bombs from World War II. Stephanie Fried, CGTN, Mykolaiv, Ukraine.